Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we are filming the most exciting video of the year, at least for me. It is the project pen finale, so if you're curious about that, please keep on watching. I am very excited. I have some great updates and yes, I know that in the back we have a gnome and then some flowers. But that is only because I just did these flowers. They are Lego flowers and they are so beautiful. It was so fun. Another great gift idea. If you are an adult and you love building stuff, I think a Lego set is just so fun. So yeah, it is a gnome in a flower field. It is what it is. So let's start with the exciting stuff, with the products that I actually did finish this round and then with the other updates and then with the total value, total amounts and stuff like that. So first things first, I did finish this one. It is the mini Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlie Tilbury. I did remove the stopper. It is, it is empty. I do really enjoy this product, but because I have the Catrice one that is pretty similar, I think I don't need to repurchase this one, but it is a great product and I did finish it up. Another one that maybe I could use two, three, four more times, but it's actually really old. And as you can see, it is, it is done. I'm calling this one done. It's old and I used it almost daily for four months. So, it's enough. It is a Born to Glow from NYX. I have the shade Vanilla. I love this foundation. This is my second tube of it. This one, I think it might be discontinued, so I'm not gonna repurchase it. I do enjoy it. Today, I'm actually wearing the Blur foundation from NYX, and if you are applying that on a very hydrated skin, it looks really great today. I actually really like it, but this one, I do prefer this one. It's just a glowy dream, but not um, sweaty. And the last product that I finished finally, it is the NYX This Is Juice Gloss. I did remove the stopper and that was a mistake really because I still had a bit too much product and it leaked everywhere. So yeah, I do recommend you to remove the stopper at the very, very last or don't even bother don't remove the stopper because it will create just a mess and my applicator broke for real so uh, yeah this is done as you can see it is empty and i did enjoy it it took me five months or six to finish this one up it is a really good product overall and you get a really really good amount let's talk about other products that i didn't finish this one i am so close look at it it is the melt cream blush light in the shade sundown this will be for sure in the next year's project pen i will finish it in probably one month or two at maximum and i will be very very happy with this empty and for this one i used it 12 more times um this month and a half uh, for the next year i'm not gonna count the usage i'm just gonna film some close-ups for the concealer i did use it a bunch i don't think you can see clearly a big progress but i do enjoy this concealer it is great but i prefer the the natasha denona one it's just a bit more hydrating and this is more like a gel type of consistency it is a great concealer but i feel like the the natasha denona one has just a bit more coverage but this is great as well so i did really enjoy it then for the highlighter i have a giant absolutely giant pen on it i really want to finish it in the next year it is a great highlighter it is from wet and wild the packaging is just a mess i really need to finish this one it is the shade blossom glow great highlighter and i did use it a bunch but I just want to finish it up. The LYS powder, I just love it right now. In this particular moment, it is for sure my favorite pressed powder. And I used it some days. 
I use this one alone, which is absolutely unusual for me. I always use the Huda Beauty one, at least under my eyes. But for a no makeup makeup, I did use this one and it was lovely. I need to recommend it. It's a really good quality powder and it is, like I said, very thin. Doesn't emphasize texture or stuff like that. It is mattifying, but it is as well very, very thin. So you will not have a cakey foundation situation. It will look just great. For bronzer, I have the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder and I use this one like crazy. I have it on my skin today. I love it. It is a great product. This packaging is absolutely trash. If you are on a budget, I, I still think this is one of the best powder bronzers and it is very comparable to high-end, but this packaging is for sure not, but the formula is absolutely absolutely amazing so i do enjoy it and i will finish it up next for the lipstick i have the lisa eldridge lipstick on the project pen and i put a goal of 20 and last month in october i used it eight times and i am wearing today and this is my 11th use so i need just one more use i will for sure use it tomorrow or whatever i will use this one one more time it is a beautiful lipstick sadly it is broken because i was i was uh, twisting it too much it is an amazing formula this packaging it is 11 out of 10 i really enjoy it so i am happy that i put this one in the project pen. and lastly i have a palette and i didn't do that much uh, progress on it it's just i for eyeshadow is so hard because i just i just love mixing and matching today i'm wearing two palettes i i almost never use just one palette it's just it is what it is and i have these two shades in here this one and this one in the project pen and i did use them i used this palette a bit but didn't hit pen on anything so let me show you all the products that i finished this year and i'm gonna put the price for all of these down below the prices are just from romania so approximately what i paid for them so let's start for primers i did finish this one this is the ola hendrickson banana primer then my favorite one the hello good stuff i already have another one in my collection and this one that i just finished the charlie tilbury hollywood flawless filter so three three um, primers in the project pen for foundation i finished three as well i finished the born to glow that i just finished the beautiful skin from uh, charlie tilbury and the fenty beauty is drop blur the liquid one because right now i have the stick so three foundations as well for concealer i finished three as well I uh, finished this one. This is the Catrice True Skin. I recently purchased another one in this exact shade. This is the 002. The NYX Bear With Me Concealer. This is in the shade Light. I have another one of these as well. Really great concealers, both of them, and they are from the drugstore. And I'm putting this in the concealer category. It is a corrector, but I used it as a concealer. This is the Sigma spectrum color correcting duo and i had it in light to medium this was great and it is done so three concealers as well i finished one bronzer this is the rare beauty bronzer stick i have this one as well because i bought another shade a more cool toned shade i finished one blush this is the cream blush from fenty a lot of fenty products in this one it's it's empty one powder, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I have the shade 110. And for glosses, I finished three. So I think the biggest difference from this year compared to the last one, it is the glosses. I finished the NYX This Is Juice, the Too Faced Hangover RX, and the Fenty Gloss Balm, the clear one. So the biggest difference for sure are glosses because last year i finished a lot more in my project pen but because this one took so long 
Um, I didn't put any other lip glosses in the project pen, but I did finish other ones in my empties actually. So for a total of 15 items, that is a bit less than last year. Last year I finished 23 items, but that doesn't even matter because I told you I finished glosses in my empties. So I am very happy with this project pen and let me tell you the total number of money that I finished with this because it is a bit insane. This is $308 worth of makeup, which is crazy. I finished some high-end makeup. This is $49, so this is <laughs> very, very pricey. I love project painting. It is my favorite video to film, my favorite video to just think about and to plan. And I am so happy. And in 2024, I am already, <laughs> I am already preparing. I already have a list of items. I am just excited. I'm always excited about this because I just love finishing up product. It is fascinating how long some items could take to finish and I just love makeup so, so much. I will take some weeks off project painting the rest of December and in the very, very beginning of January, we will have the intro for 2024. So this is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like and subscribe and I'm gonna see you next time.